Today you're in my kitchen. I'm sorry if the lighting is not so popping and all that. We're going to do that, but you know, we will not allow our challenges the towers from doing what we need to do. It's the content, as much as the packaging is also good. The content, so as in content, yeah. So today you're in my kitchen, and I'm, I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I just got back from a trip, <sighs> trip to Lagos. That's another blog to talk about. Lagos is stressful. I'm sorry, in case you're hearing any noise or any background things, I know it's my estate, my neighbors, and all that. They, <laughs> you know how it is. If you're in Nigeria, you know that thing. Um, people have a sense of entitlement. Noise is literally an entitlement here. So, so pardon me, but we will still do what we need to do. And in case the camera is shaking, just know that I'm using one hand. <laughs> And if you're new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, please. Really, you need to subscribe, share, like, and please let us rub minds together. So today I'll be introducing you to one of my special, satisfying, but easy meal yeah, to make. And we'll also be talking about Christmas, talking about worst and best experiences of christmas and it's gonna be fun and everything so today we're we'll making you know spaghetti people do spaghetti in different ways spaghetti bolognese right bolognese did i call it well bolognese <laughs> do you know i have to go to google to actually check the pronunciation of it and i still cannot call it confidently but hopefully the next time i will I don't know why I'm doing my hand like this, but it just seems a little better. And yeah, so people do spaghetti with so many things, spaghetti jollof, if you're in Nigeria, spaghetti and stew, spaghetti and blah, 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 and all that. But me, I think I just started eating spaghetti in 2017. Like, all, before 2017, I never used to eat spaghetti, and all, all through the time I spent in school, I never. It was when I went to a friend's house that I actually started eating spaghetti, and all. But since then... It's been a good meal and when I want to whip up something good and something rich, I try to do it this way. And I don't know if any other person out there does it like this. In case you do it like this, please comment on the session, comment section, let's know ourselves. But in case you don't do it like this, I'm glad to introduce to you another method. <laughs> I think I'm shouting right now, <laughs> but I'm just so excited. Yeah, so it's the spaghetti and yeah, you don't really need much. Like I said, it is very, we just need the basics so we have uh tomatoes we have i've already diced them we have the pepper we have the onion and i don't know i just <laughs> me i can be weird with my condiments so i just i said to add cow skin popular for more i've already kind of spiced it and all that so let's go let's go and then yeah crayfish so we have that, you know, <laughs> that kind of taste. And of course, what else? Eggs. Yeah. So let's whip up something really good. So on the comment section below, as we're doing this comment, how do you like, how, how, how do you like preparing your own spaghetti? And yeah. And what's your own specialty? So let's go. Okay. So I just put on. I've been trying to look for a way to balance. I'm going to balance and cook, but <laughs> I haven't found a way. So I think I'll be using one hand, and I'll be I'll be doing three things at the same time. I'll be cooking, talking, 
using one hand to hold the camera so just in case the lighting is not fantastic please forgive me you know never forget the days of little beginnings <laughs> but if they have the account right i'll try and make it as steady as possible so i just put in the um yeah the spaghetti yeah i just put it in okay so i i'm boiling it together with um salt and then with um um vegetable oil so that it doesn't it doesn't like oh uh, i don't know how to put it but you know how it doesn't make it together like it's one more and more that so it's going to be very right, soon so while it's getting ready ouch <laughs> too hazard so while it's getting ready i'm thinking should i wait to start the okay while it's getting ready i think we can okay i think we should just wait then we can start off this so let's just mm -hmm. i'm telling you about my worst christmas experience when it comes to food or lack of food <laughs> like do you have those kind of moms that are like literally mother christmas like they tend to give a lot it's good giving is good and everything but i think my mom tries to do it overdo it and all that uh so um, my mom and i we live alone i live alone with my mom for as long as i can remember and all that so we have this thing where christmas and new year i cook during christmas and my mom cooks during new year and i started cooking from a very early age because number one if you live with your mom and your mom is part time is a part-time caterer so you practically go around cooking and also if you live with a mom that works too so you have to come back to the house and cook and we, ne we never had any house help or anything so i learned for my mom she kind of raised me to be independent so even when we go to the market she would like show me her customers tell me how to get things done so i think by 10 or 11 i was already going to the market although supervised though like i was already making stuff so yeah it's no wonder we actually shared it like i cook during christmas and she cooks during new year reason is that christmas well you can decide to go to church in the morning or not and but new year we, we go for the cross overnight right but you know by other some churches like close by 12 our own stays till like six so it's a proper vigil and everything so by the time i come back ah god knows i do not play with my morning sleep so except you want to wait till like 12 to eat and my mom is an early person so in order to avoid any trouble i cook during christmas she cooks during new year so on this particular christmas i finished cooking i, was I think it was like some 10 years ago stuff and i can still remember imagine the impact it made on me so yeah i finished cooking like i made fried rice and chicken but at that time i was still very young i think i was a teenager and there's this stuff we do around where you go out you know christmas day you want to go out and have fun it's not now that i'm older now and i'm christmas day i'm just feeling like eating cooking eating sleeping and watching a movie but that time it's a lie you you want to wear your christmas clothes you want to go out you want to stroll out with friends you want to go to all those fun places so i just finished cooking and i'm not at that point i was not really a food person so i just like got dressed and when i come back i'll eat and everything so after all the bobo tibu i did the outing the dancing me thinking i'm coming back home to come and eat <laughs> brothers and sisters hey <laughs> by the time i came home the rice the pot of rice i cooked it's my hard end strength yes my full chest anyway not so full chest at that time sharp the pot of rice could you believe that my mom had shared everything there was not even one grain i don't know recently i was asking her mommy what even happened there and she was like she doesn't even know <laughs> it was terrible I raised hell that day. My mother was begging. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even know how we settled that thing, but I needed to eat that fried rice so by fire by force. Ah, come and see the bribe. But that was like one of the worst, one of the very funny and worst Christmas experience. And I think this thing is actually boiling. Let me just check on it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm just still trying to check it. Like it's almost ready. Like yeah, it's almost ready. I think we should leave it small. Mm. So, how do you like your spaghetti? Do you like it like really soggy, or you like it like you know? Mm -hmm. How do you like it? Please comment on the 
comment section and this is a good time for you to actually subscribe if you haven't subscribe 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 yeah so hi guys <laughs> you see the spoon <laughs> my mother has a little play with the spoon <laughs> what does it remind you of those days you know right anyway so we're about to start and this is going to be really taxing you see i have my camera in my hand I have my spoon and I'm about to start cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. So I've just removed the spaghetti. Um, I've removed it and I'm, I'm letting the water drain out. See, so I'm putting the ground oil first. This is vegetable oil. I'm using power oil because it has low cholesterol and my mom doesn't need cholesterol. And basically, we actually don't need cholesterol, so it's, it's preferable to use this one or King's or anyone. So I'm using this one. And because I wanted to, I mean, I'm cooking, sorry, I don't really have a measurement for it. So you just, I just go with how I'm feeling. But it depends on the quantity of food you're cooking and all that. And at the end of the video, or maybe somewhere in the video, I'm going to put like the recipe for what I'm making so we can actually. So in case you want to, like I will really want you to try this out. Yeah, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's cook. Hmm. Hey, this is going to be serious. So while we're waiting for the oil to be hot, I told you about my own experience. I know, like Christmas is a really good time. I know, I know for some people it might not be so much of a good time based on the way this year is. But I just wanted to know that despite everything, just be grateful. I yeah, know even with a little or with the nothing, the little you have, just be grateful and that and just celebrate. For me, it's mostly about just having family around, eating good food, <laughs> plenty meat, and plenty drink. Yeah, that's it for me. I think the oil is ready, so it's time to put it. Woo! Hmm. One hand. Hmm. I should be a superhero. Sure. I'm trying to reduce the gas. Yes, yeah, one hand. Oh, uh, okay. So, yes! Hmm. See what I do for you people because I'm trying to show you how I do this. And you really need to do that. So I'm putting the, this is the pepper. I like to put it in first for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so I find them together. And you get to see it. Hmm. Uh, this is going to be a really small sauce. It's like basically like making your egg sauce. But you're going to see where the difference is gonna be. Let's just wait. So guys, the the as you can see the I don't know if you can see it well the so I'm, I'm getting I'm putting the tomatoes. I've already diced them. I like my tomatoes like I like dicing them big. I like to see them. It's not like I really like eating them, but I don't know. It kind of brings out the face of the Food. So yeah, I'm just going to allow it to just, you know, simmer down a bit before I start adding other things. So yeah, this is, I think I need to increase the gas. Yeah. And I need to let it simmer, simmer down a bit. I was trying to put on the, um, so, so I use, for my stock cube, I use the Maggi bottom pots and sometimes the Maggi star. I really like using this magister because I don't know people prefer no and oh I know it's good and everything but I don't use so much salt. I use like little or no salt when I'm cooking because in this house we do my mom doesn't really eat salt and me too I'm not so much of a salt fan and all but this maggi serves it like it serves it for me it gives me that homely taste and everything so I like using it more than the no but you can use any stock cube that you're comfortable with and all so because I like my food really spicy and I see it's really boiling so we're going to allow it to you know to really fry except you want that fresh taste. so at this point I like putting my own crayfish yeah I like the crayfish and I did not actually like blend the crayfish because I don't know there's something about having this fishy like I think you're eating fish inside just so I'm just adding the crayfish I just washed it and like picked out all those other stuff and yeah so I'm adding it to it. Yeah. So it's so that you can have that. You still have the main flavor and you still get to like you know. but then if you're not comfortable, you can actually blend it and it's not compulsory that I use your own crayfish. Like this is how I just like to make my own sauce. Yeah. So I'm just going to let it simmer down for a bit. So as well as I was saying, I was saying that I know that this year has been somehow and Christmas might not be so exciting. As a matter of fact, Christmas I look at I go out and it doesn't even feel like 
it's Christmas. It's like one week to Christmas and it doesn't feel like it. But it's not about that. It's just being grateful. So just find the time. To, even if you're just eating egg and bread, just be happy. Just dance, you know, find time to dance and be happy. I know. So let's talk about your best and your worst Christmas and what you love most about Christmas and what you are um, what you hate most about Christmas. Okay, I'm going to tell you mine. Hmm. What let me start with what I I love about Christmas. What I love about Christmas is very simple. I told you I'm a foodie. Is the food. When I was when I was younger, okay, I used to look forward to going out, buying new dresses, but now hmm, nobody has asked me for a Christmas cloth to chai. That's like that's the sad part of growing up. Nobody cares. Before now, my Christmas clothes would have been ready. My Christmas hair, I used to be that child that, ah, I don't used to make my hair until like 23rd. And if I make my hair, I would not even open it. I will close it. You will not see it until Christmas day. It was like that for me. So it is almost going down. So I'm going to add my seasoning. I'm adding my curry to it. Yep, this is the Satchex one. So I'm adding it. Yeah. So this will be like, you're adding to a fish already. Yeah, you're adding this one like, well. You can do both and uh, I don't know how this is going to work but I'm adding my stock cube yeah to it. You can see you see the sauce. I don't know if the camera is showing it well. So I'm, I'm I don't know. Me I add like I'm adding just four now because remember it's not just like adding four. Sweet yeah so let's <clears throat> This camera thing and this cookie thing. <laughs> I promise you, don't worry. The next time it's going to be better. But then I've added the cow skin like for more. I hope you can see it. It's looking really good. I've added my cubes. So I just wanted to fry, 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 fry. Mm. Uh huh. I want to like taste. <gasps> It's good, but I'm still going to add like the stock cube. Like when I, I don't want to reveal how it's going to go. Just watch it. Okay. I'm sorry, this video. If this video is really clumsy, like I'm trying, but I hope you really get it and all. So we're almost done. So I've already my eggs. I'm adding just like three eggs, depending on. I told you it's a very small quantity because it's basically what me I'm going to eat and my mom too. So not so much. So I'm just adding it to it. Oops! Oh, this is gonna be good. <gasps> Who wants to eat? <laughs> okay. Hmm. So. Yeah. Hmm. I get. I bet you have not seen for more cow skin extras. I don't know. When I was learning how to cook, I learned that as when you're learning how to cook or when you're cooking you get to be creative you don't have to just follow a particular norm you can be creative in your kitchen you can you know do things and see it's coming out well oh did you know this is the first time i'm actually adding promo to my exos <laughs> last time i added beef and i'm adding promo to it hmm what should we call it on the comment section is what should, what do you think this this sauce should be called <laughs> Yeah, it will be ready. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I'm a sister, sister Rita. Uh, just in case you're around where I am, I'm by also I know, and you want something like this, you can just contact me. Well, I could just whip up something for you. <laughs> I'm sorry if the camera is shaking, really. I'm really playing in this video. I hope I get to post it finally because this thing is like this somehow. Okay, I think it will soon be ready. Hey, ready. Yeah. Yeah, so I was talking about my best. I think I need to reduce it first. My best Christmas experience. I was telling you that the best thing about Christmas for me is having to celebrate it with my family and basically having to celebrate it with my mom. And yeah, and eating good food like cooking. Yeah, cooking. I enjoy the cooking. Um, yeah. Watching movies and uh, I don't really look forward to going out because it's always crowded outside. But yeah, so I think our sauce is ready. So we just don't want to make it. See, look at it now. It's so fine, right? So you know what I do? Before I do like 
a sort of mixing i like to like take out some like i have to take out some yeah so i'm just going to reduce okay the gas is at its lowest so i don't know how i'm going to do this camera stuff but this is where the magic comes <clears throat> so this is the um spaghetti so i'm going to add it to it i hope this spaghetti is soft enough yeah i'm supposed to like <sighs> okay okay guys so i couldn't like do the whole thing while i was but this is it i ended up putting my spaghetti inside the sauce and mix it you can see it looks good right it tastes as good as it looks hmm. yeah I'm, I'm not saying because i'm the one cooking but it actually does so this is like it this is how i like my spaghetti like you know and you can see do you, want, you can just add anything you can use the see and it's almost ready like it's practically ready so the next one you're going to see is like you know, and i had i have to stop using that thing and use this thing will always be a lifesaver this spatula gary tunnel or whatever you call it what do you call this thing in your place what's it called in my place we kind of call it um hey i don't know i think i've heard them call it abalaba <laughs> they some some parents nigerian parents use this as as cane to flog their children if this thing touches your back or your hand you are gone but my mother never used this anyway <laughs> I mean, I did not have time to come to the kitchen. She would rather use my own. So, if you are still here to this point, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. I hope you really get to try this. I really hope you get to try this. And when you try it, please tell me how it goes. And in case maybe you have questions about it, and all, please feel free to ask me if you want if you want to ask me in the comment section no problem if you want to ask me on my email no problem at all and i was about telling you about my okay my, i've told you about my best experience my worst experience this christmas or during christmas period is going to the market huh. the market is always crowded and i have this kind of phobia for chickens live chickens and i think i i touched pepper so i think i touched pepper so i'm feeling Everything, yeah, kind. So I have this phobia for chickens, and so when I was little, I got poked by one. So since then, as a matter of fact, we don't eat live chicken in the house. Like we buy more of frozen chicken. And if I get to see the chicken, trust me, I'm not eating that. So we buy mostly frozen chicken. And if I go out and I like, even if you use um, live chicken to cook, no problem. Not like live chicken. You're not literally using it. You kill it first, right? And no, but as long as I don't see the chicken, I know. So I have this phobia for it. So every time I go to the market, my heart is always on my sleeve because people are always holding these nylon bags, and there's always one uh, live chicken poking their head, and I'm always very scared. And then the heat and everything. So during Christmas, like I don't really look forward to going to the market. If I have my way, I would not go to the market. So it's been a really, 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 really fun time cooking with you. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. Our food is still here. I wish I could share it with you. I really hope you do. I know that. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe. And I'll try as much as possible to give you more content at least before the year runs out and everything. Please subscribe to my channel help a growing youtuber help a beginning youtuber help me help me this is my youtube career i'm sorry if the lightning and the picture quality and the whole sound and everything is not going so well i promise it will improve but please support me it's the more support you have that i get on encouraged to do more videos and to get more stuff but until then continue to spread love and light and don't forget to enjoy your christmas